Caution, this video contains sensitive subject matter and views you may not agree with. Please keep an open mind and respect others' views. I am saying, however, if you are a person that is so religious that you go up to somebody else that is happy in their belief and tell them that they are wrong, that they're living their lives wrong and they are going to go to hell if they don't join your religion or your church, that is incredibly wrong. And you should know that you should never do that. I know it says in the Bible that that's what you should do. You shouldn't. <laughs> It's wrong. <clears throat> if somebody wants to be a m Mormon, let them be Mormon. I don't care. But don't be a person that says, well, you need to join our church or else you're going to hell. And this comes from somewhere in me that I've experienced this before. I've been on both sides. When I was going to a friend's church in high school, it was a Christian church, at one point, we had a youth group where everybody would sit around and talk about things they want to do and things they should be doing and talk about the teachings in church that day. And this guy, college guy who goes to ASU, sat there and he said, I am going to plan us a field trip. Everybody bring money, <laughs> as they do. So we can go on a field trip to ASU and we're going to stand out front with signs and we're going to have a table on the table is going to be flyers for our church which yeah that's fine um, give people the options i mean that's fine i i believe in that entirely if you want to give somebody an option to go to your church give them the option you never know somebody out there might need it but what pissed me off is what he said next and after he said this i never went to that church again i stopped they even came looking for me to come back to the church. I won't. I will never go back to that church. And that's not what persuaded me to be atheist. It still took me a while after to understand my belief. Well, I call it a belief because there are people out there that call atheism a belief. It actually, in definition, is a total lack of any belief. Um, but he, he sat there and he told us we, when people come to the booth, we're going to stop them and ask them, do you know the commandments? And if they say no, or they don't know them all, we're going to ask them if they want to go to hell. And if they say no, we're going to ask them to sign up for our church. That is, by definition, bullying. That is forcing somebody who doesn't know any better about their own belief or who are curious enough to come to the booth and wonder more about it or are looking for another church. That is bullying them. You never tell somebody that they're going to go to hell for any specific reason when it's just not true. It shouldn't matter what you believe at all. If they believe what they want to believe, that's fine. If they're black, white, Asian, Hispanic, anything and everything under the sun, it shouldn't matter at all. And I, I'm talking this because I want you guys to think about it. I don't want to be the guy that's like, hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna talk about political beliefs and talk about what I believe in and everything you say is wrong. I'm not that person at all I, I don't care what you believe in I don't care your choices I just recommend that you take the time and think about your choices and think about the type of person you want to be and the type of world that if you have kids you want them to grow up in and I've been a parent it's not I, I'm not currently a parent anymore some things have happened in the past to talk about in another video but I was a parent and when I was looking after this little girl. That's what I thought about constantly. Am I doing something that's going to be in, that's going to be a good role model for this little girl? If she had already gone through a lot, and I thought about it a lot, what 
can I do to make the world better? And I understand as a single person, I can't do anything, but with your guys' help, I could do a lot. And that's, that's all I'm asking is that somebody else think about this. I want to hear your guys' opinions on it. Now, I want you to be as kind and courteous to anybody that's on there. The first time I see somebody attacking somebody in the comments, you will be banned. It's not going to be a choice at that time. You will be banned. I don't want that in my comments. I want my fans and my community to be well thought out, intelligent individuals that don't need to resort to attacking somebody. Now I understand joking around, that's cool. But once you start antagonizing and forcing them to engage, that's when you will be banned. That's as simple as that. I, I'm not taking any of that crap from anyone. You either be a decent human being or you don't. That's all there is. There is no gray line, no gray area. That's just, you're a good person or you don't be. In my comments, I will not see at all if you want to go back and forth on either side of the fence. The first time I see you attack somebody, even if you've been nice to other people in the comments, you will be banned. I don't want that, just so you guys know. And I'm not saying it to keep you guys from commenting. I want you to comment, but I want you guys to keep it as civil and as intelligent as you can. 